Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, so you see the title. I'm gonna show you got my guys my uh, gauge set up in the car. Um, I'm gonna get it wired in. I'm gonna show you how I done it, and um, we'll go from there. So I'll give you the first layout of how I've got everything in the car. Um, I'm gonna start from the center console. If you're familiar with most Buick Grand Nationals, um, they did not come factory, but a lot of guys put gauge pods right here. Um, I do have that gauge pod, and it's right here. And we're running the SunPro SP Series. They are discontinued, but I can find them brand new in the box most of the time um, on eBay. I love these gauges. I have ran these gauges in probably like four different cars. Um, so we're going to run temp and oil pressure. I am running electronic sending units on these, so I have already pre-wired these gauges and tie them in together so your grounds are tied together and these will come on with the ignition switch so you got your water input from your water sensor on the motor and then you got your uh, oil pressure and I have them labeled at the time that's uh, I didn't have the label maker so I just did this this will work fine uh, you can't see this anyway once it's in the vehicle so I'll just leave that um, you got your hot and you got your ground and that runs both gauges because they are tied in underneath here which i done like this so they're all butt connected together they're jumpered um they'll work fine the blue and white is your lights that's going to be tied into the interior lights that come on with the parking lights um and i will be showing you where i ran those into on the car so that's that one and then we move in <clears throat> i hope the lighting's fine we run in pillar gauges, and our pillar gauges are going to be, uh, you're going to have boost. Uh, so we're going to have a manual boost gauge, and we are running volt, so we'll know if this thing's charged or not. Also up in this panel, we have a little small LED light, and that is for my knock sense that's going to go in the engine. And what knock sense is, because a lot of people ask me what knock sense is, it's actually to run uh, universal knock sensors on this engine that I'm going to be running and it allows me to monitor if it starts to knock um, that light will alert me and I can get out my gas so I can save my engine but also my knock sense will be tied into my ECU which we'll do a further video on and it will pull timing out of my motor so I do not ruin my engine so I'm going to be able to monitor when it's going to knock hopefully our tune will be good it won't but i'll actually be able to see a light come on if it does and i know to hey get out the gas but also it's tied to my ecu which will pull timing out and reduce the power to the motor so i don't have that issue um moving on uh we're talking about gauges of course you guys um if you watched the last video i told you about the 140 kilometer um buick regal uh, cluster. This is not a Grand National cluster. This is a Regal cluster. It plugs and plays just like anything else. Um, you do lose the boost and RPM gauge just over here that's digital that I don't think nobody pay attention to anyway. So you do lose that, but I have solutions for that. So, I mean, I have my manual gauges, not some lights. I think the lights are cool, don't get me wrong, but there's no point in having it when I have these other gauges. Um, and also, to monitor RPM, I went with a glow shift uh, two in one uh, tachometer. So you can probably see the little digital lights in there. Anyway, once we get this wired um, and later in the video, you'll see these come on and um, you'll get a glimpse of that. But it also has a shift light in it, which I won't be probably shifting this car at all um, myself. But it also has a built-in shift light, which is digital tack. And I went with this instead of a big, you know, 5-inch tack or whatever. Because I still have feel, full view of my whole cluster. I got my gas right there. I got my RP, I mean, not RPMs. I got my mile an hour. And it, to me, it looks more stylish. Once I get these wires tucked out of the way and black wire loom, I think it looks suitable for this car. And it doesn't just stand out as, oh, that's a tachometer. So, guys, let me get this stuff wired in. We'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, just cleaning up. Um, we did get everything wired in. Um, we changed up a little game plan. Uh, the boost controller. 
And then our Innovative Motorsport um, Wideband is going to be going on separate circuits. But we'll talk about that in another video. Um, but go underneath the bottom, show you guys what we did. And I'm going to show you the gauge setup. Looks pretty good. So uh, let's try it out. Excuse those wires. Uh, those are wires that I'm not going to be using. I think they were for cruise control. But uh, if you look right there, we got all our grounds going to a chest. Well, to a metal support. We got our knock sense box in there. Um, that's mounted, wired up. Uh, let's see. And I don't know if you can see it, but right there we have a ATC jumper that is powering um, that your volt you're getting voltage off of for your voltage gauge to see what the ba uh, battery is doing, and it is powering the knock sense module. So those two, the knock sense doesn't pull hardly anything. And the other one is just reading the 12 volts for the um for the gauge. So there's no pull, draw, or anything on that. All right, we got the lights wired up. Sorry, I don't have the lights, but uh, anyway, we can't see that. But anyway, I'll show it from the top. Um, the lights are wired into the wire that goes for the lights for the um shifter. So I'll show you. Guys, what I'm talking about, turn those on. And as you see, your park lights up. Uh, there's a wire, that just one wire that comes out of that console and goes up into the dash. So we spliced into that. So therefore, we got gauge lights. Bam. So our gauges are lighting up now. Um, I still don't have power to those gauges. And I just thought about that. I should have tied those in over there as well so i may re go back and redo that but we have lights going to the gauges now let me sit in here Ugh. and we got gauges up on the pillars so we got lights going to those you got your boost you got your voltage um and yes the lights are on but the voltage not reading yet that's because i don't have the ignition switch on i just have the parking lights on so these go on and off with the parking lights which I like, so there's no separate switch for these things, and they will power up and still run even without having the lights on. Some people wire up the lights, and if they're if they're electronic gauges, they wire it all together. I don't like that. If my lights are off outside, I like my gauges to be off, the lights and my gauges to be off. So we turn the lights back on. As you can see, simple as that, they come on. The parking lights are on outside the vehicle. They got the lights down there. And so now the lights on the dash, of course, they come on with parking lights. Now we can turn our switch and our nice, pretty auto shift uh, tachometer. And also, like I said, guys, it does have a button in the center of it that you can set your RPM that you want it to light up and it will be bright blue. Um, it's almost blinding, to be honest with you. So I'll probably set it super high so I'll never hit it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, like I said, that's on the key switch, and your, you get your, your voltage when you turn the key switch on, um, it's extremely down low right now, because I had the doors open, and I ran it down, but we got it on the charger, and as you can see, kills the power when you cut the switch off, and no lights, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, um, super simple, if you're going to wire up gauge lights in these Grand Nationals or Regals and you have a center console, there is a gray wire that comes right out up here and runs up into the dash right here. That is the simplest place to tie in and it will work off your parking lights, guys. So that's pretty much it. I'm wrapping it up. I'm about to take it in the house, guys. Oh, yeah. No, I forgot to tell you. The knock sense is also wired into it, too. So as you turn that on, you get your lights back. It goes through its motions. And then you see the red flash. That lets you know that it was activated. So that's all good to go. Um, I do have to go back and I need to wire in um, the power to the two gauges down here in the console. Um, I totally forgot about that, guys. That is my fault. But I'm going to wire them in over there, too. Um, and then... We will be good to go. So that's my gauge set up in my 86 Buick Grand National, guys. Um, 
Please like, share, and subscribe. Life of Jordy B. We'll see you next time. Uh -huh.